Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today's card features a watercolored or watercolored images using the new Butterfly Kisses stamp set. For my card here today, I have used some watercolor cardstock, and I've trimmed it down to an A2 size, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches tall. I'm going to start with the large floral image from this stamp set. I'm going to kind of position it there, use a large block to pick it up. I've already prepped the paper with the powder bag tool so that when I stamp this with Versamark ink, the white embossing powder sticks only to the stamped image and doesn't migrate anywhere else. So I don't get any of those little white specks all over the background of this panel. I'm going to sprinkle on my embossing powder but before I heat set that, I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the butterfly images and stamp those around the flower. I went ahead and added the embossing powder so that I could see where to stamp exactly. And then I will take one more butterfly and I'm going to stamp that kind of in the upper right. I'll sprinkle on the embossing powder and then heat set all three of these images. On an acrylic block, I am laying down some picked raspberry, wilted violet, and squeezed lemonade inks. And then with a damp paintbrush, I am picking up those colors and then watercoloring the images. The embossing kind of creates a well to hold that watercolor inside of the stamped and embossed line. For the center of the flowers, I used a little squeezed lemonade. And then for the flower petals, I am applying the picked raspberry. I'm going to add an additional layer of the wilted violet here in a little bit and blend all of those together. I'm even going to take that yellow and blend it out into the pink a little bit. I'm adding the darker purple, the wilted violet, to the outside edges of the flower petals. Again, I'm laying the color down if it does not blend enough just with that, because I do tend to start with a little bit more of a damp instead of wet paintbrush, simply to control the color a little bit better, but I can always go back and add a little additional water if I need to blend it more. Next, I'm going to lay down a little mowed lawn and twisted citron inks on my acrylic block and paint in the leaves. So I'm going to use the Twisted Citron first, then I'll go in with the mowed lawn and kind of follow the veins of the leaf and especially add that dark color there around where the leaf lays below the flower petal to add a little bit darker. I, I always start with a little less water. You can always add more water if you need to. I'll move on to the next leaf and add that mowed lawn to the stem. I like to go in and add a little additional water after I've laid down the mowed lawn and that will help kind of blend that ink a little bit better and get some nice movement and really gives that watercolored look. I have one more small leaf here that I need to add some color to. As soon as that's done, I'm going to go ahead and grab some additional colors. I guess I'll fill in that other little uh, flower petal first. I'm going to lay down some Salty Ocean and Blueprint Sketch inks, as well as use the Squeezed Lemonade that I already have. I've used the Squeezed Lemonade on the outer edges of this first butterfly, and then I'm laying down some Salty Ocean and blending that out into the yellow. And then near the center of the butterfly is going to be the blueprint sketch. Again, just making sure that these colors kind of blend out really nicely. I, there's very little of the squeeze lemonade that shows, but just on those outer edges of the wings. For the third butterfly, I'm going to just use some squeezed lemonade and barn door. Again, I'm going to go over the entire butterfly with the squeezed lemonade and then near the center of the butterfly body, I'm going to lay down the barn door ink and blend that out. 
and that's going to give me the illusion of three colors, even though I'm only using two. Around the entire image now, I'm going to take some very watered down salty ocean and start blending it out. I'm kind of tracing around the outer edges of the stamped and embossed image with my salty ocean ink. So it's going to be a little bit darker there around the edges of the image. Then I'm going to grab a little additional water and blend out that color around all of the edges. It's kind of imperfect, which is the look I'm going for. It's just adding a tiny touch of color around the edges of the design. Again, blend that out all very, very good. Pull a little bit more color in for the top portion of the card. I'm not going to the edge, just concentrating the color around the image itself. And I'm going to darken it a little bit underneath the leaves. I got a little too dark there under that third leaf, so I'll need to add a little water to blend it out. Adding a little more color here and there where I feel like it needs it after it starts to dry. Once my panel is good and dry, I did let mine air dry, but you could also hit it with a heat tool to speed that up if you want to. I'm going to stamp one of the greetings or the scripty you greeting from the Butterfly Kisses stamp set on my image. And I'm trying to decide where the best place to put that is. I'm going to do that near the bottom. Then I'm going to take one of the smaller greetings from the stamp set and stamp that right underneath. I'm stamping everything off on a scrap piece of paper first since these stamps have never been used just to make sure that they stamp really well before I commit them to my project. Then I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to trim it down. Not in height, it's still going to be five and a half inches tall, but I am going to trim it so it's only about three and a quarter inches wide. So trim off a little on both sides. I'm going to mat that on a piece of black cardstock that is four inches wide. And I'm going to not um, center it. It's going to have a really thin border along the right side and a little bit wider border on the right. I'm also using quite a lot of adhesive on the back of this panel simply because it's watercolored and it may have warped just a little bit. And I find that that Glue Glider Pro Permatec adhesive will hold it nice and firm so that it doesn't bow up. So there is my panel. I'm going to take a white top fold card base from Simon Says Stamp and attach that there. It's a little bit too tall, so I'm going to have to trim that a little. I decided to go ahead and trim it after I have attached it to the card itself. So I'll go ahead and place some adhesive on the back of the black card stock and attach it directly to my white card base and then trim that up. Underneath that left side where it has a little bit wider black um, strip, I'm going to just tuck some thin twine or string under that edge and wrap it around about three times. This is really thin string so it isn't terribly bulky. Then I'm going to tie that into a little bow right above the word you. So I'm going to take both ends of those strings. I'm going to wrap one of those underneath all three of those strands so it kind of holds them all together and then tie this in a little bow. I'll work with that bow to get it pretty small so that it fits right there on the card front. You don't want it terribly big. I'm going to take a little glossy accents after I snip the ends of the twine and place it underneath the knot in the bow to hold that secure to the card so that it doesn't move or shift when I send this through the mail. I'm going to hold that down while the glossy accents dries and I'm going to finish with a scattering of my favorite Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear 4mm and 6mm sequins. And I just have those scattered throughout the design. I'm attaching those with some Zots bling glue dots. These are my favorite. They're teeny tiny, so no liquid adhesive mess. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Mama Elephant Butterfly Kisses stamp set. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. 
Here are a couple more Mama Elephant videos you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.